Hi, my name is Abahi and I am a claims adjuster. In today's video, let's talk about working at State Farm. I have worked there and I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons. But first, Tales from the Field. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, I am a claims adjuster and um, I am a little bit under the weather. I was in Mexico working and not working. No, I wasn't. I was in Mexico, all inclusive. You can put the picture together. Uh, but I have worked uh, deployments with Big Red. I've also worked proximity assignments uh, in multiple states, mainly the Northeast. Now, I'll tell you the pro is what everybody thinks it is, the money. Uh, you do make more than most people will be making an hour. Now, if I put a number in this video, it's probably not going to be current. And what I make versus which you might make is going to be different. The assignments change, the, uh, the, demand changes so there's a lot more adjusters who want positions so sometimes they're paying positions uh, even in the 20s now i don't go out for less than mm, 50 per hour but i'll tell you what though the best opportunities aren't even with state farm because they pay hourly and 50 really isn't that much anymore once you you know hit other other ways to make money in this industry which we can go into and I do with my students and my team. If you work with me, then you'll know. But overall, yeah, the pro is State Farm pays. Now here's the con, the money doesn't last forever. Some deployments do last a really long time and some, guess what, you can even work from home. Can you work on remote? Like I'm able to work remotely as a public adjuster? Probably not. Uh, will you have to clock in and clock out? Yeah, in such a way you will. Um, but you know working with state farm and working from home that's the kind of the pinnacle right now and after the pandemic has ended everyone wants to work remotely everyone wants to work from home everyone wants to be paid well and everybody wants to do it with no experience i don't know why people don't think they need experience uh, but you do or why people don't think they need training but you do to be able to uh, do this job but it's like any trade like hvac like being a doctor really uh you have to go get training to really sustain uh long-term work now the other con is that you don't get that many days off with state farm especially when you're not staff if you're a 1099 contractor one or two days off might be all you get even if you request more time off i was actually uh, with one of my friends, she introduced me to a friend of hers who does adjusting uh, in the auto position. This is my first time meeting this lady. Uh, it was on a Saturday. We were doing a train ride in North Georgia. Uh, it was really a really cool experience. It's like a two hour train ride getting to see like the hills of Georgia. So she, we were talking and she's a, an adjuster and she even was getting a text from her manager like, hey, where are you? What's going on? Why aren't you at your computer? She's like, well, I mean, I requested the day off. Uh, but he's like, oh yeah, I forgot. I mean, they want you working. And if you're, they're paying you, they want you working. Even when you have nothing to do, they still might call a random in-person meeting that you have to get to. Uh, I had a friend that happened to him. Listen, it was, I think, 4th of July. Uh, and he wasn't there. He wasn't going to be there because he knows he doesn't need State Farm. Um, I choose when and where I want to work. I spent 16 days in Nigeria, actually, uh, working as a PA, but uh, not working with State Farm. They're just not going to let you do it. So people do kind of suffer from burnouts. People, you can see it on social media, people saying, oh, I'm tired. Uh, Cause the other con is you gotta work like 10 to 12 hours a day. Oh, I just, I'm a millennial, maybe it's me. Just not gonna work that much. I can work part-time as a PA and make more than most adjusters make. So part-time hours, full-time income. But when you're working with State Farm, it's 10 to 12 hours a day. Yeah, you get your little lunch. I mean, it's not like strenuous because you're not dealing with traffic again. So you gotta take your highs with your lows if you're going to go work at State Farm. 
Um, let's see what other cons might be out there. I think that probably that last one is the biggest one for me because I took like eight trips last year, including three countries, and I just couldn't be able to have that flexibility when it comes to uh, State Farm. There's no benefits also included, so I can't even say that on the pro side unless you're a staff adjuster. So, you know, medical, things of that nature is still going to all be on you um, unless your um, IA firm you know, provides that, but most of them probably won't. Okay, so anyway, I'm sorry I'm coming from you, um, with you under the weather, but that's my uh, pros and cons list. Um, so, so a few more pros, I mean, a few more cons than there are pros. Now, if you want help to be able to even get interviews, uh, Maribel, she was able to get a job just two weeks after we worked on her resume and Taj actually has worked um, with Big Red and some other um, insurance, um, and inside other opportunities inside the insurance industry uh, and i have numerous other students who have worked with me or worked for me and have made money as a claims adjuster so i'm here for you i have training set up got training going on right now stay tuned um